Windows updates can sometimes do more harm than good. If you're like me and you have a computer doing a dedicated task like mining or something like that, you don't want Windows to randomly restart because of an update. In fact, you probably just want to disable it completely. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to get that done, so let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel and we are at our Windows 10 desktop. I'm going to walk you through two methods on how to disable this. The first method that we're going to do right now is to temporarily disable it. It will re-enable after the next startup. So what you want to do is go to the start menu in the search bar over here. You can just type in services.msc and over here you get the services app. Click on that and it'll open up. And here are all the services for Windows. So I'll just expand this a bit here so you can see it clearly. And then you click on anywhere over here and just hit W to jump over to the Windows section. And if you scroll down a bit here, we get the Windows update. And once you've located it, you just have to right click on it and then go to properties and inside properties here you can go ahead and you can stop it and you can the startup type you can also disable it and once you have that you can hit apply and okay and that will pretty much disable windows update uh, even when you reboot your computer it should not start up we have the startup type as disabled I don't find this completely reliable. Somehow when other things get updated, this feature will change. Unexplained reasons for that one. But anyways, the next step I'm gonna show you is how to completely disable it. And for that, we're gonna go into the registry. So we're gonna close out of this. To get to the registry, we're gonna go back down here into the search and we're gonna type in regedit. And we get the registry editor. Now I don't think you have to run it as administrator, but I'm going to anyway. So I'm just gonna right click on it. Say run as admin say yes to the prompt and there we go so we have our registry editor over here we have to navigate to a very specific folder here which is a windows folder and we want to go into the h key local machine which is this right over here we're going to hit the arrow to expand it then below we're going to expand software and what we want to do inside here is look for policies and then expand that then we have microsoft we'll expand that and we're going to scroll down till we see windows so we'll select windows once you've located windows you're going to right click on it and then say new key and it's going to give you an option to type in something in here and what we're going to do is we're going to type in windows update no spaces and then hit enter and it's going to create a new key called windows update let me just expand that over here and you can see it right over there and now what we want to do is we're actually going to be creating one more key in here so the new folder that we just created we're going to right click on it and say new key and then AU auto update and then hit enter. So we have this new key over here and it says AU and we're selecting that folder. Just make sure it's highlighted. Now we're going to navigate over to the right hand side right over here. We're going to right click on it. We're going to say new and then D word 32 bit value. We're going to select that. Now we just have to type something in here and what we're going to type in is no auto update. Once you have that typed in, you just hit enter and it'll register and there we go we have it in here and it's highlighted now what we need to do is activate it so we're going to just double click on it and we need to assign it a value and the value is going to be one so we have value data right here make sure it's highlighted type in one then click ok and you can see that the data value set over here on the right hand side has now switched to one and now we've activated that so now that you've done that we have permanently disabled the windows update inside windows 10. so you can go ahead and close out of the registry editor we're completely done and you continue doing whatever you need to do on your computer windows should not be up updating anymore. You'll have to manually do it if you want to do updates. And that's it. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you have any questions, you can also put them in the comments below. Subscribe if you're looking for more tips and tricks for Windows, especially Windows 11. I'll be making a new video for this one as well. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.